The government will no longer use the daily virus infections as a metric to ease curbs for states once they enter the second phase of the National Recovery Plan, Finance Minister Tenku Zafarul Aziz said. He said the COVID-19 hospitalization rate will instead be used as one of the three indicators to allow states to move to the third and fourth phase of the plan. While the nation added 19,819 infections on Wednesday, 98.1% of the cases showed light to zero symptoms, according to the health ministry. Still, there was always a chance that their health may deteriorate over time, Health Director General Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah said in a statement. With new infections piling up, daily cases topped a record 20,596 for the first time today. The government is focusing on speeding up its vaccination drive. As at August 3, the health ministry reported that about 31% of the adult population have received both doses of the vaccine and 62% got at least one dose. Meanwhile, according to Tenku Zafarul, the hospitalization rate must be three cases per 100,000 of the population for states to move from the second to the third phase. Currently, Penang, Kelantan, Terengganu, Pahang and Parak are in the second phase, which allows for more economic sectors to open. The third phase involves reopening all economic activities with the exception of those on the negative list, according to the plan. Based on this new indicator, the government allowed Perlis, Sarawak and Labuan to enter the third phase beginning Wednesday, Tenku Zafarul said. He added that to get to the final stage, the rate must be 1.3 cases per 100,000 people. States in this phase may reopen their social and economic sectors under new norms, Prime Minister Mahyuddin Yassin said in July. Most states are expected to reach this phase as early as October, according to the Prime Minister. We are live on Telegram. Subscribe here for breaking news and the latest announcements.